welcome to another show of Josh and Ashley. We're certainly delighted to be with you. We've got an incredible show that is lined up for all of you. And listen, I, I want you to know something. It is amazing, and we've had a lot of guests on our mm -hmm. show thus far. We've had some wonderful guests. We've yeah. had stories of God's miracle working power. We've had stories of the hand of God has been placed on their lives. And we've had testimonies. We've heard of how God has, has taken just an old rich sinner and saved their soul and changed their life and given them a life worth living. But today is going to be one more show that we haven't been able to have because it's a story like no other. And we are certainly delighted to have uh, uh, the, the group with us. They're going to be singing, but they're also going to be sharing a story. And so we want you to stay with us. We don't want you to go anywhere, all right? Because you're going to be in for a special, special treat. Before that, let's sing one. You want to? Yes, let's sir. get on down to it. The song has the gospel message in it. Listen, that's why we sing the songs we sing, because of the message. And here's a good message. Some try to get around it. They say all we need is love. Welcome back to the Josh and Ashley show. We got an incredible show lined up uh, today. And I'm, really I'm really, really me too. I'm telling you, I, I just get excited every time that we have a guest that we're able to introduce and uh, to welcome somebody. And this one is a very special guest. And uh, we're certainly glad that he is here. And he's brought his group to sing. And they're going to sing for us in a few minutes. But welcome Todd Nealon to the Josh and Ashley oh, Show. Wonderful to be here. Todd, thanks for coming by. I know that you're busy. A lot of things happening and going on. But thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us. Now, listen, there's some 
something that happened, and I'm not exactly sure the timeline of this now uh, because time gets away so quickly, uh, but on social media, and I'm on there quite often, I saw that uh, something was happening and that you uh, got involved in a little something and it just blossomed into a beautiful handpiece from God. Would you tell us about what's, what happened there, how it all lined up and so forth? Well, it, it's such an incredible incredible story and it's always amazing to me how God leads you sure. into certain ways from gospel music to uh, church music ministry right, right. to all of a sudden into a roofing right. company. I, I, don't, I didn't know the connection <laughs> at the time but I got, a, I got a, a text message from a friend of mine and she said uh, a friend of hers was needing a bucket of tar. She had a leak in her roof. And so I just decided I'll just go over there. I'm not going to bring a bucket of tar. Let me see if I can help. Sure. So I went over there, and it, it's a it's a lady. Her name's Miss Becky, and she lives in a in a single wide trailer. And they put an addition on it. And I walked in, and she said, "All I need is I just was hoping for a a bucket of tar." And I looked at it, and she had in her bedroom probably a three foot section cut out where water was just filling up. Wow. And. Uh, it, she had buckets all over her house, like you would you would actually see it almost in a, in a cartoon. Wow! There was, it was that wow. many. It was so you couldn't repair that roof. It was it was coming down, mm -hmm. and I just started talking to her. And the more I talked to her about her situation, she she just has no no financial means, and she was eating her food with what she would eat every day, not this week or that week. Every day was beans and rice. Wow! Because. I guess it just helps to fill you up. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, she didn't even drink her water because she lived next to a rock quarry and it always tasted chalky. And it was just, but through the whole thing, her, her thing was, but I'm okay. I look for tomorrow because God's got me. Wow. I mean, it was as, as bleak as her situation was and the more I talked to her, it was just not going anywhere. Right. But she would talk to her pastor and she would know that tomorrow could be a better day. Wow. And, you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so God really has to knock me over. Sure. sure. You know, I'm so with you. I'm with you. I started listening to her story and listening to it, and, I, and God just spoke to me, I need to help this lady in some way. And, and I, I talked to her a little bit about it. I said, I don't know what, what's going to come. I don't know what will happen. I put uh, the story up on, on social media, and it exploded. It did. It, I had a video that was seen over, I think it was 8,000 times. Wow. wow. And I just asked for help. I put her story out there. Right. And within four hours, I had her a brand, not a repair, not a bucket of tar, a brand new roof Is that paid not for. Amazing? God just, and the amazing part was the people, the diversity of people that came together from people I went to high school, graduated, who hadn't seen them in. Well, when I graduated high school, it was probably two years ago. You know, <laughs> over, you know, over 30 years, mm -hmm. haven't seen them. Wow. They helped. A kid that I coached in baseball when he was 12, 11 years old, he helped. I mean, wow. it, it was just amazing how m this lady touched the hearts of people. And God moved through so many people to make this happen. And we went back over there and gave it and, and told her what, what had happened. She just started crying. Oh, I saw that. Uh, oh. And you did a video. Yes. And, and uh, talked to her and said, you know, hey, uh, we're not going to repair your roof. We're going to bring and build you a brand new roof. Absolutely. And the tears that fell down her face was just incredible to mm. see her life being touched yes. at that moment. Her, and, and, you know, I mean, to, I, I don't know how long that she lived like that, but to think however long it was, and to know that somebody cared for her enough to say, you know what, let me really try to help you here with more than just a bucket. You know, let, let me try to give you a roof. And that is incredible. Oh, it was such an, um, it was such a, an eye-opening experience right. for me. Right. You know, and we, we gave her, people sent in money. I had someone, a dear friend, came down from Greenville, South Carolina, just to spend time with her, not and he gave he gave them some money to eat, food, but sure. to spend to take the moment. Wow! And come on, he wasn't coming through here. Wow! He spent time just to come and spend time with her. You know what the best part was? That's amazing. About a week or two after we put the roof on, she came and visited us at church. 
That's incredible. Awesome. Yeah, is that I, what not? It's. It, I mean, that's what it's all about. It is. Yes. That's what God you know, wants it, us to do. I, lately, Pastor Daryl, you know, has been has been preaching on. For God so loved the world that He gave. Yes. Yes. That's what we're supposed to do. That's the truth. You know, and that's. that's it's just that one incident has. I've seen so many things on my years on the road, but that one incident. It literally changed my life. Sure, sure. You know, and it, it, it changed mine, and, and it was so ironic because um, I had talked to your pastor, Pastor Daryl Jones, who was with us here not long ago on the Josh Nashville show, and, and I said, I want you to come be a part, and you've got a story to tell, and I want you to come tell that, and, and we talked a little bit, and, and he said, I would love to have my minister of music, Todd Nealon, to come, and I said, you won't believe this, but I said, I've been watching on social media, you know, the story that's happening with this lady and her roof, and I would love love to have Todd to come on that we could share his story too. And I said, uh, I don't have any contact information with him, but I said, is there any way you could work it out? And he said, well, certainly. He's a minister of music at my church, and, you know, all the, the pieces of the puzzle were just put together. Here we are today. And you've, you've got an incredible background, history of your life, you know, uh, uh, being raised in gospel music and, and knowing this gospel music <laughs> world, you know. And uh, it's absolutely amazing to see how God transitioned you from there. And now, you know, you have a wonderful family. And now you're in a church working, minister of music. Yes. And how's the difference of that, being on the road and being in the same church every Sunday? How, how, how does that work out? It's night and day different. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? We can definitely yes, that. Yes, yes. But, you know, God prepares you for the different seasons in your sure, life. He does. I never dreamed, honestly, when I was on the road with the Neelands for forever, <laughs> that I would be in the church Right. Minister of music. Right. You know, and the funny thing was when when Sweetwater called me, uh, I was at another church and I I, I I said no. Well. Because I didn't feel like that was what God wanted me to do sure. at the time. And yeah. about three years later, they called me again. Wow. And it's just God's perfect timing. Absolutely. Yeah. And it has been the greatest experience. The church family is such a loving Isn't family. Isn't it wonderful? It really is. And it we've is so had wonderful. some good times and hard times, and sure. they always surround you, no matter who's having yes. that hard time. That's what I. That's the one thing that, to me, is like being on the road. Because, you know, when you're on the road, and it was my family. Right. But, you know, there's so much mm -hmm. love with all the sure. group members that we had. Sure. That's what you see in the church. Absolutely. And there is just no replacement for a good church family. No, no. there's not. There's not whatsoever. Not. So you travel. Of course, your dad was uh, one of the greatest of all in our genre of music, Rex Nealon, and a gospel music icon and, and a legend. Of course, well, I didn't realize until a few minutes ago, it had been 17 years yes. since your father passed. But, of course, that Nealon tradition is being carried on by your sister Kelly with mm -hmm. her group. Right. But you you are also carrying on that, that Neelan history as well with your own group, the Todd mm -hmm. Neelan Trio. And, and how often do you all get to sing? And, I, of course, I know you're in your home church, so how often do you get to go out and well, sing? Well, we don't. Last year we did a good bit. You know, it, it all depends. I mean, we'll go out once or twice, maybe a month. Sure. At the, at the most because we, I love being at the church. Right. I really right. do enjoy that. And it's been, this past year was an, we did a, this is our 40th anniversary of the, Rex Nealon singers. Wow. So we'll do a few more things and we'll just do all old Rex Nealon songs and we were very fortunate. We've been had a, a blessed career. Yes. And God has just been very good to Most us. Most definitely. He, last year uh, we were, the family, we were all nominated and put in the Hall yes. of Fame. Mm -hmm. So that was. It was incredible. It's not about us. It never has been. I'm so glad of Dad's vision that he sure. that he he took from his time with the Lefevers. Yes, yes, and and I believe he would be very pleased at, 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 at what I is taking too. place today, and to seeing God use you know Kelly and yourself. He'd be shocked uh, to see me as a music minister. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would. Be. <laughs> but he would be very proud. Yes, I, and, I think uh, he and would. And you're you're both of you are, are able to you know Kelly's giving the devil a black eye on this end, and you're giving the <laughs> devil right. a black eye on that end, and you're just all working together, and yes. it's 
want to thank you for being a part. Thank you for sharing your story today. Hey, can we do this? Uh, I know uh, if it'd be all right, uh, maybe your uh, your group could sing for us. How about we that? We would love to. We would love for you to. And let's do that. So let's welcome the Todd Nealon singers. Go ahead and get ready. Right. And uh, let's get that rolling. It's been a joy to have Todd with us. And we had a ball being able to share these wonderful stories. And I yeah. hope they've been an encouragement to you. And I hope they've been a blessing to you in your life as well. We're going to go now to the Todd Nealon Trio. And I want you to make them welcome as they come and sing for you now the Todd Nealon Trio. Here they are. Once a time within my heart I was condemned to die I was walking in my sinful ways Jesus paid the ransom for my soul I paid this world goodbye When he calls me I will fly away
Thank you for watching the Josh and Ashley show. And wasn't the Todd Nealon trio just wonderful, they fabulous. They were just phenomenal. I, mean, I just enjoyed their, it so their much. their songs ministered to me today, and I hope they did to you. And the story, isn't it just amazing how if we would just listen to the voice of God, follow what he says for us to do, hey, every single time. We'll see the hand of God work. It's been a joy for us to be here as well, as it's always. It's been a great show. Hey, there wouldn't be day. a Josh and Ashley show without Josh and Ashley. You know what I mean? This is true. <laughs> hey, we want you to write to us. We want to hear from you. Tell us how they can do that. Would you do well, it? Sure. Well, yeah. it's super simple. Very simple. If you want to find out anything about Josh and Ashley, all you have to do is go to the World Wide Web and type in www joshandashleyfranks.com That's it. We're going to be looking for you and hearing from you real soon. Honey, sing us out of here. Would you do that? Tell them when you saw me. I was on my way. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Sing it now. Here we go. I was tested by the tempter. I was tested by the throne. I was burdened with my sorrow and old satan did me wrong but when my feet did falter the savior heard